Young people, take partnership in the gospel in Jesus' name. Take the words to go to win the prize. Take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation soul by soul. On the shame of claim. An achiever in mission is not caught up with the things he needs to do in the, in the school, in the university, in your family, in your finances, in your health. We're not caught up with these things. Why? We want to be like the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul was grateful for the church in Philippi for their partnership in the gospel. Amers, are you not involved yet? Come join us. Let us reach out to your friends. Let us reach out to your classmates. Let us reach out to your family. Take partnership in the gospel in Jesus' name. Let us now worship our wonderful Jesus. Let's all lift up our voices and let's worship the Lord together. Awesome day to you. Welcome back to Top of the List. My name is Pastora Tessa. 
Have you ever heard the song, Better is one day in your courts than thousand elsewhere? It actually came from Psalms 84 verse 10. So today, we will not sing a song, but we will list down why is it better to be in God's house than thousand elsewhere. It is a place where God lives, so it is where we rather desire to go. It says here in Psalms 84 verse 10, For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wickedness. Yes, we do know that God is omnipresent, but in His house, we found and gazed how wonderful He is. It says here in Psalms 27 verse 4, One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. Number 2 it is a place of provision. It says here in Genesis 22 verse 14, So Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Abraham went to the place where God commanded him. He trusted the Lord and truly he saw with his own eyes the God's provision as he went. Just wow, as I desire to be in God's house, well, it is the right place to receive from the Lord. Wisdom for my upcoming finals, favor to the days ahead, provision to my next semester's tuition fee, and more. Amen! It is a place where we should never give up in meeting the believers. It says here in Hebrews 10 verse 25, Not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. While we are waiting for the coming of Jesus, we don't wait in vain. We wait being hopeful and not getting tired to be in God's house. So my fellow young people, if you got the habit of sitting all day Sunday inside your house, come on, I encourage you and compel you, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! To the house! To the house of the Lord! Amen! Because better is one day in God's house than thousand elsewhere. There is no other place that you could find that would satisfy you the same way that we have heard from the list a while ago. So Amers, believe and receive the good gifts that God wants to give to you as you go and meet Him in His altar. So see you to any COP campuses that we have. Main, South, East, North, Bulacan, and Pampanga, and of course, our COP branches. That's it for our top of the list. Always remember Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. Hello there, Amers. Welcome again to our Amplified segment. Philippians chapter 1, verse 5. Because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. The Apostle Paul here was telling the church in Philippi how grateful he is for their partnership in the gospel. Now let me ask you a question, Amers. What are your priorities? What are the things that you put first in your life right now? Let me give you an object, object lesson right here. I want to show you here. A picture, an image of a spoon and fork, right? You seldom see or you will never see. Most of the time, the spoon is alone and the fork is not with the spoon. Why? That's why it's called, it's called spoon and fork. Why? They are partners. They are partners. When you are about to eat, you use them together. You see, in the gospel, we can all take partnership. In the gospel... We can take responsibility. In the gospel, we can take commitment. You take time to study. You take time to help in the household chores. You take time to go to church. You take time to check your Facebook. You take time to play games. You take time for social media. How about this? You take time to take partnership in the gospel. The first thing we need to do before taking partnership in the gospel is getting filled with the Spirit. Then we take part 
and see signs and wonders that God will do through you and through me. Now, what comes in is what comes out. Garbage in, garbage out. That is why, if we want to take partnership in the gospel, we need to allow first the gospel to come inside of us. We need to allow first the Holy Spirit to fill us, to overflowing. The Holy Spirit to just consume you, to consume us. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Look at Peter here. Talk about transformation. Look at the apostles here, first and foremost. The apostles here were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. That is why you see the apostles, they changed the world. They changed the world. Look at the apostle Peter. Acts chapter 2, verse 22. Men of Israel, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst. As you yourselves know, this Jesus, this Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him. Losing the pangs of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. You see here, Peter, because of his abounding love in God, in Christ, because of his abounding love for Jesus, what happened? He took partnership in the gospel. But before that, you see Peter denying Jesus in a servant girl. You see, doubting Jesus, that is why he dropped off. He was able to walk on water, but he fell because he doubted. Peter, very hard-headed, he cut the ear of Malchus, one of the soldiers who arrested Jesus. All of the mess. But then Peter made the decision to allow the Holy Spirit to fill him. To allow the Holy Spirit to just fill him to overflowing. That is why he took partnership eventually in the gospel. He was not afraid anymore. He was not shy anymore. He took partnership. Talk about transformation. Acts chapter 2, verse 42 and 43. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayers. And all came up upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. You see, just like the apostles, just like Peter, just like others, as we are filled with the Holy Spirit, it will come out. You pray for the sick, the sick shall recover. You pray for those who are in need of wisdom in their studies, they will have the wisdom. James 1.5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, we should ask God and He will give it to us generously without finding any fault. So, Amers, do you want to abound in your love for Christ more and more? Then let the Holy Spirit fill you to overflowing. If you are not yet what Holy Spirit baptized, ask Jesus to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, then you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will become a witness. You will become a witness. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. Help us, O Lord, that our love for you will abound more and more. That as we spend more time in your presence, in your word, we will be filled to overflowing. That we, will, we cannot stop ourselves but preach your word, but spread your word. Lord God, and take partnership in the gospel. Help us, Lord God, help this next generation to change this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You are an achiever in mission in Christ.